Hey everybody, it's Jason, your Friday vlogger. Welcome to Weight Loss Losers Mythbusters Week. This week I'm working on two different myths. The first myth that I'm working on is about whether fat is bad for you or not. Because many people decide to just cut out pretty much all fat from their diet when they think that that's going to help them lose weight. In fact, when they first started introducing lower fat foods, it didn't cause anything but people to gain weight. In fact, fat isn't bad for you at all. It serves several vital functions in the body, including, but not limited to, it provides a concentrated energy source, as well as creating a good energy reserve for your body. It forms the major components of your cell membranes, as well as giving you nourishment for your hair and nails. It insulates the body from extreme temperatures, and it provides cushion against vital organ damage. There are several great sources for poly and monounsaturated fats. They include olives, canola oil, cotton oil, filberts, fish, liquid soft margarine, mayonnaise, pecans, safflower oil, sesame oil, soybean oil, sunflower oil, and walnuts. While monounsaturated is found in almonds, avocados, canola oil, cashews, olive oil, and olives, peanut butter, peanut oil, peanuts, and poultry. The main difference between these two is that polyunsaturated fat lowers your LDL and HDL cholesterol while lowering your overall cholesterol, whereas monounsaturated fats lower your LDL cholesterol while not lowering your HDL cholesterol. Now, don't you want to lower all cholesterol is the question. Of course not. You want to lower your LDL cholesterol because that's what causes arteriosclerosis, whereas HDL cholesterol is excess cholesterol from the arterial plaque, which slows the buildup in your arteries. The second myth that I'd like to bust is about aspartame. And um, I actually don't know anything about aspartame, but I learned something in my nutrition class, and I had my teacher email me the statistics on this just so I can read it to you guys. I know I'm not supposed to read, but this is way too hard for me to memorize because I'm still a student, so. But I found it really interesting because I was always like, well, you know, aspartame is said to cause cancer. That's the myth. Aspartame causes cancer. That's true. However, it causes cancer in lab rats. So I emailed the teacher and I was like, I'm really confused because, you know, how can there be an acceptable level of aspartame that we can consume per day without getting cancer? And she emailed me back. So I'm just going to read you the email. In 2005, there was a study of rats published that linked aspartame to leukemia and lymphoma. Then, about a year later, there was a large NIH study done with people, and they did not find a cancer link. So, for now, aspartame is regarded as safe. I'm sure more studies are being done looking into this connection, but I am not aware of them at this time. The condition that is allergic to aspartame is called phenylketolinuria, PKU. These individuals have a defective enzyme, phenylalanine hydroxylase, which is needed to properly metabolize phenylalanine, which is in aspartame. So instead of making another amino acid, tyrosine, they make phenylketones, which can build up in the brain and are toxic. It can lead to mental retardation in children. All newborns are tested for PKU, just so you know. So the only thing that you can worry about with aspartame is if you have that condition called PKU. Right now, aspartame is regarded as safe. However, I don't know if you want to consider this a myth busted just because they're still doing tests on it. However, they did do a test on humans which concluded that it does not cause cancer in humans, just in lab rats. So I can consider this myth half busted. However, if you think about it, drinking soda in general really isn't good for you just because it dehydrates you. And it has no nutritional value. But don't think that it causes cancer because as for now, it doesn't. This is from a registered dietitian. So. And I actually did a little bit of research on my own trying to prove this wrong. And only, the only study I could find is the study on lab rats. I could not find any other studies. So this is what I got. So I hope that helped you guys. Thank you guys again for watching. Stay tuned for Monday for Al for our second edition of the Review Week.